My mom was my first sponsor, obviously. When I got sponsored, a couple of dudes from Helsinki came and skated my hometown in St. Ayoki, and they, um, they saw me over there, and they invited me to come and skate with them in Helsinki, which is the capital of Finland. So I got sponsored by, the, by a shop in Finland first. It all started rolling from there. Just going to contests and being around the scene and just skating and the work gets around, and then eventually you know, getting a shop sponsor, getting on the Finnish skateboard team, and then one of my friends, who was a Timo, who's a photographer, skateboarder, skateboard magazine editor at the time for Numero magazine in Finland, he put a trip together with a couple of guys to go go to Europe and just kind of check out a couple of the contests, shoot some of the contests, shoot some of the pros, blah, 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 do an article. He was like, hey, you need to come with me. And that was the same guy who sent my sponsor me tape maybe six months, year prior to Cliché and I never heard anything from it. It was like some rec stop system, like VHS to VHS, like record, stop, record, stop, editing, kind of like maybe, possibly some Iron Maiden over it. Finland, like what, like, no. <laughs> Whatever, fast forward six months, a year, my homie's like, hey, you have to go to these contests. I guess he saw something in me, I was just like, hey, you gotta do it. I was like, all right, let's go try it out, let's go see it. The contest circuit started in Europe, which was in 98, and the first stop was Copenhagen in Fjelle Parken, which was the old Fjelle Parken with the asphalt banks, and like there's an old vert ramp still there. I saw, I remember Rune skating that and doing switch flips and doing his whole thing over there and just flying around. I was like, whoa, this is sick. Like, it was a full, like, grassroots setup. Old school plywood ramps, couple of banks, boxes, whatever, rails, and, and the vert ramp. and. Bong Olympics going on, whatever. Some of the menace guys were on that, and <laughs> there's like all this, you know, it, it was rad. And I think that's where that's where Rune saw me first. I think I won like a best trick contest or something, doing a backside tailside over this box, two kickers with a huge tall box. I remember skating that, and I just remember seeing this box like, oh my god, I've seen Penny do a switch flip over this like a tree square thing on the floor and you go you ride up this bank and you do like a blind side switch flip it was like a form one opener maybe or something or i just remember seeing the spot in videos like wow like this is unreal like you know they film here there's pros here there's you know it was blowing my mind that's why i first met rowley and and uh rune rune was already blowing me up i guess he saw me skate there and he's like and he was telling Jeremy Fox at the time, he was like, oh, you gotta get this kid, da 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 And I got a couple of boards from Rowley at that time, and Jeff dropped the ball and get me on flip end, and then they went and did something else. But in that summer, 98, going through all the Europe contests, I ended up riding for Platinum, hanging out with Moses and Colin and Danny and McCrank, all those guys. They were still doing Plan B at the time, and they're doing Platinum, so I'm riding for Platinum for a few months. That was my first trip to come over here to North America was to go to Vancouver and do a, a cross-country road trip from Vancouver to Toronto over like two weeks and, and doing demos, being in a van. I didn't speak any English at the time. Like I could introduce myself, I could say hello, I, that was it. And Ty was on that trip too. Like we, that was the first time I met Ty, so we filmed a bunch of stuff then. The first box I was like, okay, I'm sponsored, was when I when I got on Flip, and that was after the summer, after everything, after I went to Blitz. I went to Blitz Distribution, and I saw how many skateboards they had in the warehouse. It was just stacks of boards, thousands of boards, all the way to the roof, and I was like, whoa, I've never seen that many skateboards in my life. And Deacon's just like, you can, you can have whatever you want, mate. <laughs> and just like, just grab a box, like grab, a cardboard box and just stuff as many boards and gear and wheels and whatever I could get my hands on into this board box because I was going home. I was going back to Finland at the time. That was really the first time I felt like, okay, shit, I'm sponsored. There's millions of skateboards here. I'm stuffing the box up. Uh, it's like I have all this gear. Like I'm going home with a board box full of shit. Like, okay, I'm sponsored by a company in America. Like, that. this is it. I'm doing it. Before that, being sponsored in Finland and you know, I'm forever grateful for 
the Soul Tech distributor over there and the shops and the homies that hooked me up, but it's like skateboarding so small and it was even smaller back then that they couldn't they couldn't dish out gear like that, you know. They kept me skating and they kept, you know, I got product and everything, but the first time where you really feel like like okay, I'm doing it, this could work out, like that was when I went to to the flip warehouse and I got this massive box. 16, I think I was 16 or 17, yeah. Right in the nick of time when people were still actually looking at 16, 17 year olds, like, oh, he could be something. Now it's like, how old is he? Six, seven, mm, shit, too old. <laughs> it's like, we gotta get him when they're four. <laughs> it's like, and then they don't pan out. It's like, oh shit, he's kind of got a crappy style. Like, oh fuck, what are we gonna do? No, it's not that bad, but it's funny, yeah, skateboarding.